guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my curly to straight hair routine I switched around a few different things and I wanted to go ahead and just redo this video so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair out of a turban tie here is my hair and how it looks um, it's in need of a major major trim and that is one of the reasons why I've decided to go ahead and straighten my hair recently and as you guys can see it has a few different layers so let's go ahead and get right into it here are a few products that I used on my hair when I washed it the love beauty and planet shampoo and conditioner I love this stuff as well as a has beauty deep conditioner and this is what I'm gonna be using on my hair in order to um, heat protect it I love this stuff I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair I want to be able to work in sections and be able to fully be able to dry my hair really well so I'm braiding off um, half of my hair now and then I'm going to go ahead and split the other side into two. So here's my blow dryer. It's by Conair. It was like a really inexpensive blow dryer that I had got when we first moved up here to Alaska. And here are just the settings on it. It just has a low and high setting. And then I also picked this up today from Sally Beauty. This was $10 and here's the box for it. Um, this is my first time using it, but I definitely wanted something that was gonna fully stretch out my hair. So that way I can get the best straight look possible. So I'm going ahead and going in um, um, I went ahead and went through or tried to attempt to go through this whole section but eventually as you guys will see I'm going to go ahead and just split into sections because obviously that works better but I was just being a little bit lazy with this but I really really like this brush or this comb tool I think it worked really really well and I think it's better than me using the brush method um, it's just quick and easier and my hair was able to fully stretch out to the full extent that it possibly could before where it was time for me to straighten my hair. So now that my hair is fully blow dried, I'm actually sectioning off the front as well as the back two sides and I'm braiding it up. I'm just trying to make sure that I am trimming as much as I can and I definitely needed a lot trim this go around. So I went ahead and did like a little bit of a pre-trim. This is definitely optional, um, but I wanted to try out this method. I know that my hair is typically in layers um, and so I just wanted to make sure that I'm getting some of this um, some of my ends cut before I even get into the straight hair process so that's what I'm doing and as you guys will end up seeing I'm braiding and then I'm pretty much clipping the ends uh, that are at the ends of the braids So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair. I typically like to split it in half, so I'm going to go ahead and take one half of my hair and wrap it around and then I'm going to take the other side and split that into two and just start in those sections. So I typically like to go in four sections um, when I'm going through my hair and as you guys can see, I'm just tying it off. And then now I'm going to section off um, the front from the back and start at the back. So here's my straightener. I've gotten it, I believe, last year at Holes. it was right under $50 I love it it has amazing reviews and um, this is my first titanium straightener it works so well and the heat goes all the way up to 455 
So I'm going back through with that Tresemme heat tamer and I'm going ahead and spraying my hair. I did the mistake of spraying a little bit too much in the beginning. So you definitely want to just spray just a little bit because um, you will have to wait for it to dry up a little bit so that way your hair is not popping on the flat iron. But I'm just combing that through and then after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in a little bitty sections with the Chase Method with a um, rat tail comb. So I do love to use clips because it's just easier for the takedown process throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and section a small section in the back and work my way up and then I'm gonna clip the rest of the remaining hair up at the top. So like I said, I'm using a rat tail comb to do the chase method. So that way I'm making sure that my hair gets super straight and I definitely like to make sure that um, the roots of my hair is straight and pretty well. So I will typically go back through and just make sure I'm getting like the nape and also just like the roots of my hair so that way there's no fuzziness. So like I said, I'm just going to go through the chase method throughout my hair. This method is actually pretty hard for me because I'm always trying to figure out the best way to hold the rat tail comb. But eventually, as you guys see later as I continue, I'm just going to flip my hair over the comb. And that way I get a good grip on it and I'm not um, relaxing my hands. Uh, but I'm going back through and it's really important to do this at the ends of your hair especially if you are like me and have a lot of ends that you need to cut so again I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all throughout and here is just the result of doing that method and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish throughout my hair Again, I'm really trying to make sure that I am clipping my ends so I'm finished with the first section of my hair and I'm going ahead and going through and just clipping what I see uh, I like to do this in sections just so that way I'm just getting it out the way and not saving it for um, the end and so I typically always do this I typically will go after I straighten each section and go ahead and straighten so you guys will see that as well as I continue to do the rest of my hair So now I'm going to go in with this Garnier Gucci's dry frizzy hair oil and I'm also going in with this Babyliss Pro 
curling iron and it is the nano titanium style so I actually got this method from my mom she always likes to go in with a curling iron after she straightens her hair and this is so that way her hair can wrap really well and as you guys can see my hair is still pretty frizzy and it typically is still like that because I wear my hair curly throughout the year and so I'm going ahead and going in with the oil first because you definitely want to get that shine and also with this oil it's going to really help um make my hair a little bit more straighter if that makes sense um as you guys can see just the side that i'm doing right now compared to the other it just looks more slick and just a little bit more put together and not so frizzy so that's the style i'm going for and as you guys will end up seeing i'm actually going to cut my hair a little bit more so this is actually something new that i've started to do because I noticed that in the past when I've straightened my hair I started to continue to see frizzy ends and I had to continue to cut my hair so this um, method that I'm going to use by curling my hair is actually going to be able to allow me to see a little bit more of the ends that I need to cut just for me I notice that sometimes the ends blend in together a little bit and when I curl my hair it'll just be a little bit easier for me to see what is like separated from the rest of the hair if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair as usual and then go ahead and curl it into chunks So I went ahead and curled the first piece and as you guys can see there is a little bit of frizziness and choppiness and we definitely want that salon look where you have that blunt cut I just got my ends cut kind of look and so that's what I'm definitely going for and so I'm just going through a little bit more and um, I hope that kind of gave you a little bit of an idea of what I was saying as far as when I curl my hair I'm able to actually distinct like what ends need to be cut like what's like some remaining ends that need to be cut and as you guys see the oil actually also helped differentiate like what's healthy and what's not because even before I curl my hair I'm able to see a little bit of the ends that are actually still needing to be chopped off so definitely don't be afraid to cut off that necessary ends that just need to just be off your hair and off your back and also if you're a curly girl like me uh, this will definitely help once you end up going back to your curls because your curls would just form a little bit better and you won't have like ends popping everywhere so I'm going ahead and cutting off a little bit more and as you guys can see I'll continue to do that throughout the rest of my hair and also just going through with another hot tool is just making my hair a little bit more straight and sleek as well
so I just got through with one side of my hair and I wanted to show you guys the difference so as you guys can see this side that I just got through curling looks a lot more healthy and just even and bouncy and this side it looks good but you can just tell there's a lot more that needs to be cut it's a lot more choppy and frizzy at the end so we're definitely going to fix that and go ahead and do the other side all right y'all so both sides are done and as you guys can see it just looks really healthy you get that salon vibe almost where your hair is just super even straight across and I love the methods that I use because I was able to go throughout my hair individually as well as collectively and just get all those dead ends off and rid of. So I hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you guys plan on trying any of these tips and also let me know if you guys want to see a video of some really nice straight hairstyles.